The rain has finally stopped. My crane, I bought a crane. The crane is watching over something. It's waiting for the tomatoes to grow. Yes, I planted a tomato. Large beef tomatoes. It's not suitable for growing in the pot. So now I'm putting it in here next to my wall here, my succulent wall. Well, just for the summer. And maybe at the first month of autumn, it'll stay there because hubby loves going in the garden and harvesting some vegetable. Over here, I've got my cucamelon rocket and my honeybee tomatoes as well. I planted them and I threw in a couple of seeds or rocket as well because my rocket that I planted or I've grown in my grow light has now, is a little bit hard now, but anyway, and this one here is my cucamelon and I think I saw, where's the fruit? It's writing a little fruit, I'm so excited. Oh yes, by the way, yes, the tomato too. See, check out the tomato. Yes, my first crop. So hubby likes to wander in summer here or when they're fruiting and just harvest. And now you can see my garden taking shape. I'm laying down the foundation, so I put in three afterglow that is going to be protected by hopefully my New Zealand flax there and I need to put in a couple more plants, tall plants that sort of cover this area. So those are broken pots that I've got lying around in the backyard so instead of throwing it away I thought of using it here for something very special. My lizard sedum, that is a Crassula ernestii and I don't think it's really that frost hardy so I put it under this geranium just so it gets protected when winter comes and that one the Bidens oh my goodness it's just so gorgeous and this one is also a broken pot this is the bottom part of it is broken so I buried it in the soil so you don't really see it and then the little froggy there saying hello now as to what plant I'm gonna put in there I still have to decide those things has to go in as well and I've got a pot oh yes I remember I have to put my something in there as well so anyway before i do that why don't you just come with me and i'm gonna clean up the garden oh, look i put in my pat's pink so i'm gonna find some more wrangle a couple more pat's pink and plant it all around in the perimeter and this is looking really nice so i don't want to show you all at once because that way you get to see what I'm doing because if I just show you all finished it will be shown anyway later on when it's finished but at the moment let's take one step at a time I was cleaning up this area here and I saw something so I quickly went inside and I got my little snip but I'm not here for the snip oh yes by the way the rubella my achiveria rubella is flowering look how gorgeous the flower is I have never seen a rubella flower before or this has never flowered for me and it's also popping up so i'm just hoping that's proper proper babies and not terminal babies speaking of babies i just found something wonderful so i was just minding my own business <laughs> cleaning up my hercules here like so and then i accidentally pulled off something well I did not know I pulled them off and I just noticed that these two cute little ones and then I thought where did you come from why are you so cute so I don't know where they came from it's just gorgeous and then I went to proceed and clean up over that Hercules there over there sorry <laughs> this one and check this out these are tiny cute little Hercules wow <laughs> so look at them so anyway look they are just so gorgeous I'm gonna harvest them a one a two there's more over there but I can't reach it this is just so amazing I am so happy. <laughs> Look at these beautiful flowers. They're not flowers, they're plants, but 
And what? Have you got more hiding somewhere? Hello? No, this is just a flower. Okay. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm just hoping they're not terminal flowers. Oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. So beautiful. Look at that. They're so cute and tiny. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so cute I could cry. <laughs> Mother Nature is beautiful and wonderful. The Embricata's flower is just magnificent, so I'm going to leave it. And she is huge. And the purple delight on the right hand side is still flowering, but you barely see the flowers. But Francesco Baldi here has still got nice yellow flowers, and the yellow splashes on the leaves is just gorgeous. But this acacia pond has now finished flowering a few weeks ago. That was just absolutely beautiful. But anyway, and the bees were just buzzing around, I couldn't even come near it. So now I'm just going to clean this up. This is not fast forward. This is normal. I should be a fruit picker. <laughs> A little tree trying to grow in between the acacia ponds. These are weeds, so I need to pull them in a bunch. So see the roots, some comes off and some doesn't. something about working in the garden that relaxes me and I can't work with gloves I only put on gloves if I need to pull off something that's got spikes or something like that but otherwise I prefer to feel what I'm touching and pulling baby plant we don't that out but this one is terminal see it's flowering so we I could propagate it but there's no point because there's so many of them going to thin this out soon and put it somewhere else in the garden out in the front there because these are just common succulents when I say common they grow so fast that it doesn't really matter if it's out in the front okay that's so nice the weed love it when they come off the roots and all now these ones are Chiviria Beni Musumi they have finished flowering as well so this one no need to save the seeds because they grow really fast or they propagate really fast or they produce babies actually really fast also Lola Lola here needs to be cleaned up too beautiful Lola in Filipino, Lola means grandmother. So that song of Barry Manilov, her name is Lola. That one there, 
the, her name is Lola one. <laughs> okay. So her name's grandmother and she's a showgirl. A showgirl grandma little a showgirl grandma. When I'm cleaning up in the garden, you know the saying, see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil. That's what I do when I'm in the garden. I don't think of evil things. <laughs> I only think of good things, no evil things. Evil things, evil thoughts eats you up. Okay, now this one's gonna be a good one. Come on, please. Oh, I can't. Hang on. I need my little doobie lucky. So I've got a weed in here that I need to pull out. Come on, come on, oh, there you go. Look how long the root is. Then we might as well do the do we lucky for this one. Okay, now, we want to see your faces being covered by weeds. Oh, that's better. And this one's here. This I'm just going to break. Because this grows so fast. This is a sedum. So, I only started with one small bit with that one. But that's already like 10 years ago in my garden. That's probably one of the succulents I have in my garden that I didn't even know. It's a succulent. Back then I didn't even know the word succulent. The only succulent I know is that mango or succulent, nice and juicy. <laughs> or what else? Food. Anyway, there you go. Now that's looking a bit better. I can see my pretty babies. I don't really know if you like cleaning in the garden videos. I know some of you likes cleaning the succulents in the pot. But when it comes to the garden, is that relaxing for you too? Especially if I stop talking. <laughs> This looks so pretty now. Well, it's getting pretty. Not as messy anymore. So I can't see my beautiful babies. The rocks I put. Rocks. Can you see this? This rock over here. Just so I can lean on it or step on it. That's the purpose of those rocks. Don't. Next year they're going to come back. And I have to do the same thing over again. I'm taking them off.
I can wear my gloves for this one because I don't know what I'm touching here. or Hatoria, something like that. This one's here. On the side you see that that's all been in Sumi, but because they're not being sun on, they're being covered by the other plants, it's just green. This one's here that are exposed to the sun are all red. See the difference? So succulents love the sun. It doesn't matter what anyone say, the nature of the plant is to grow in the sun, not to be grown in the shade. You can grow them in the shade with the grow light, that's fine, but I still say it's cruelty to succulents <laughs> and not to let them enjoy the sun. Is there such a thing as <laughs> succulent cruelty? <laughs> then I'll be the first one to go to jail. <laughs> because I treat them mean. But I do expose them to the sun. I don't like keeping them in the shade. Okay. So this is what this area looked like before. That looks a bit better now. And it's just so nice, the red and the whites of Lola. Look at all the Lola. They're on firing squad line. They're going to shoot. And this is Liesel. The flowers are just so gorgeous. I have another similar looking plant and it's called a Molon. It's also green, but I think the flower is yellow, it's got different flower, so or vice versa, I might uh, get the two mixed up. And see this one here, this blue feather sedum, how they just sort of stand up and I like them. It sort of just covers the whatever needs to be covered. Oh, I found my Echeveria Holygate hiding over here. So, I should really expose them. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful plants. I love, love, love succulents. I don't care what anyone says, it's just succulents, I say. <laughs> my kids and my father-in-law will say, you're buying succulents again. Yes, <laughs> I love succulents. They make me happy. And that's all that matters. Because for tomorrow, who knows, I might get hit by a bus. But at least today, I get to enjoy my succulents. Gorgeous. Ah, oh, the colors. Ah, oh, it's amazing. So this is before.
video. This is the area I am currently slowly working on. On my next video of my Anything Goes Garden, I'm going to be filling up this section with wonderful colors. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Bye for now.